Welcome back to another episode of Reincarnated as a Sword. I think last episode was probably the best episode so far because it was Fran versus Mommy Amanda. She was basically that. All right. There was the other guy too before. We just shit on it completely. I'm glad that he finally realized that Fran is at her rank where not because of connections, but because of her merits. And not even that. Her rank of being D, it's not, I, I don't think she should be a rank D. I think she should be much higher, but it would be too suspicious if, if the guild master, you know, promoted Fran too fast, too quick, right? Amanda versus Fran, amazing scene of Amanda basically testing Fran. Someone mentioned in the comments that I didn't even realize at the end. Amanda did not move from her location when she was using her whips. Everything was stationary and that blew my mind because I was like, we knew Amanda was strong. And the whole point of this duel was to see just exactly how strong is Fran, how far can she really push herself? And she did well. I mean, she she honestly got like a hit in even though her like secret like passive technique, like unique ability or something like activated at, time, at that time when she basically used the fire on her and then she just came out unscathed. But the, the point wasn't to win the battle. Like, it's obviously Amanda stronger. But the fact that Fran can keep up and even do that, that's what makes the duel, I think, uh, count as a win for Fran in that regard. Amanda, though, is super strong, super ridiculously strong. Okay, what's gonna happen now? I think we're gonna go into the dungeon and basically just loot. Uh, the dungeon is already cleared, so I don't have any... Uh, unless something unexpected happens, unless something entirely different, like a... An exterior factor comes in as a threat. I think that the rest of this like little arc of exploring the third dungeon is gonna be pretty boring. But let's hope I'm wrong and see what happens in today's episode. Who is this? Is this our? Is this the guy that's gonna make this? You know, the rest of this arc spicy. I just said that. You know, unless an external threat comes in, it's gonna be pretty pointless because we already cleared the dungeon and we're just collecting loot. Plus, we have Amanda. All right, clear the part. I mean, clear the path. <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> the fanboys are pretty funny. I, I like them. I like them more. They actually have, you know, names. They're not just random. Just, this guy looks like Von Stroheim because of his hair shape. I like them. Oh, did you clear it? Who cleared it? Damn, that's kind of depressing. Jesus. None of their kids never got their parents to return. Jesus. And that's why you took care of all the orphans. Gotcha. No, she earned a lot because all those parents died and the kids had to come in and, you know, they had to run an orphanage. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It doesn't work like that. Also, how do the kids have money to pay Amanda you know, for the orphanage? It's more like volunteer work. Huh? Oh no! Spiders! Like, I can't, you know, get hyped about these spiders. They're just like butter, trash, mobs. Alright, all right, take care of them. Level 6. But the episode was called The Trap of Trap Spiders. Maybe I'm underestimating. Let's see what happens. The li I know it's supposed to be like spider web liquid stuff, but that color and that liquid. <laughs> Pretty cool! It's <laughs> right <after> roar! <laughs> they did an entire pose. My friend looks very unimpressed. Oh. More about mechanics of this world? We we'll also had a nice scene between Fran and Amanda, so Fran feels more comfortable around her now. Oh. I mean, you promised that you'd be there for us. Mm, maybe not now. She's still, you know, a little... She's not completely fawning over Amanda, but she's more, like, open to her now. It's nice. Combat. Okay, just make yourself stronger with mana. Have we ever felt that way before? We probably have, but we just never realized. Probably just felt so natural. <laughs> yeah, so it's just always been like that for her, so that's why it feels like, oh, what do you mean? That's just normal for me. A master sword mage. Wait, wait, who? Who is the Shishu? Oh, I, thought that she might, I thought she might slip there for a second about Shishu, but obviously it can be interpreted in different ways. But hey, oh, there's a trap. Careful. You guys too, careful. I'm sure they'll be fine. 
I thought something more, more dangerous would come out, but these traps are pretty trivial, right? Like, yeah, they're dangerous, but it's not like, oh my god, he deserves that. But it's not like, oh my god, someone died because they hit a trap. Disable the trap. Oh, they're just casually dodging all the arrows while having a conversation. Trap detection. Pretty Oh. They're advanced? So we have that? We're, we use a lot of fire. What do we do with fire? We just embrace the flames? Jump in a volcano? Sure, that's easy when you're in water, but what about fire? Or like even like electricity or something like that. What a what a brute force way of learning. You just eat the earth. Go in a really windy place. Let's keep breathing. What about fire? You gotta eat the fire. No, 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 relax, relax, relax. Oh, wait, are we kind of already doing that? Well, no, the... How Fran uses, like, parallel whatever, mind or something. Oh, wait, it's like a fusion type of magic. So, gotcha, using two different element types together. Water and fire creates... Not like an actual baby, but plants, right? What do we have? We could do earth and fire. We can probably do molten attacks. Yeah! We're using so many. Not water, though. Thunder magic. Damn. Thunder imbued, like, swords. That would be so cool. Oh, that's us, though. That's us, though. Oh, we're going beyond three. Because it's not just France, Shisho can also cast at the same time. So why can't we like mix like four? Yeah, we're a little. We stand out a little bit too much. Curry time. Oh, we're giving the mouth our curry. That's you know, she doesn't give anyone curry. Right? They don't know what curry is. Oh, it's gonna blow her mind. It's gonna blow her mind. You want some curry? Oh. Look, our family's packed sandwiches for us, man. Also, the way that we get our curry is kind of nuts. It's like interdimensional storage. Yeah, our friends shared curry. That's that's huge. That's a big deal. But we have like an infinite storage, like a fridge. Necro, are they evil? Not always. I think. It's usually those kind of people are the ones that use that skill, but yeah. Oh, who's this? Oh, maybe a future character will meet? Yeah, it's a bit too easy. We're jinxing it, we're jinxing it. The real danger is about to get... Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. That guy really just combing his hair. <laughs> I love the fanboys, man. Alright, be careful, guys. Huh? Buzz, buzz. Let's do it. Thunder magic, come on. It sounds so cool. But maybe we're just, nah, we can go continue as like, we're super talented and gifted child. Come on. But yeah, we do want to, we do want to lie low. But when you're talking to your sword like this, you know, just in your head, it's like, it's a little sus. Yeah, this is the really OP thing. It can go buzz. Like a lightning. No, let's use it now. This is the practice. Already? Yeah, you're standing out a bit too much. Spiders are getting different color too. They're a bit bigger and like blue. That's the last bit of our antidote. The antidote didn't work? Hello. Wait, this is like advanced poison. Wait. What happens if you just, like, can't heal him? What if HP drops to zero? Does he die here? Did it work? 
Oh, it did. Nice. Okay, okay. Mm. Is it not expected? Or is there something different going on in the dungeon? Like I said, in the beginning, who was that person approaching the dungeon with that like red bottle of whatever it was? Trick spiders. Yes, ma'am. And these are just like still trash mobs. Meaning there's someone else behind that's an even bigger threat. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more interesting. Should we back out? Should we back out? That would be a smart thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Krad's gonna... Yeah, I feel like he's gonna fuck up and he's gonna let the ego get it to his head and just advance. Not if his fanboys are getting taken out like this. Yeah, we need to get out. Bail us out. Alright, Amanda's finally getting into play. But what if we can retreat? Wait, wait, guys, guys, careful. Oh, they're seeing shit. Confusion talking. Knock him out. We might, we might need to. Wait. Are they gonna die right now? Wait, wait, wait. Fran oh no, they knocked into Fran. Oh, we're still good. I thought something really bad was about to happen because they were getting really careless. Huh? What is this? Some kind of advanced trap? Amanda, get in there right now! It would be. T no, I, she might have to handle that by herself. Maybe this is the time to use Thunder Magic, though. To pray that we don't get teleported into a wall. Imagine you do and you just die. Oh, shit. Weapons don't get transported to get. How is Fran gonna just survive by herself? Well, she can still use magic. Okay, here we go. Things are getting more interesting. I did ask for more of a threat, but I didn't expect she should to get separated from Fran. Can Fran do this by herself? Hmm? What is it? Tell me! No cliff air, come on! Okay, where did we get teleported? Still the spider's nest, or we have the scabbard though. Yeah, it's not good. This is kind of dangerous. But we do have Victor and Bart with us, you know? Ooh. Is this the dungeon master or is this like the boss in the dungeon? Ooh, that's like spider Booba. Yeah? Who is this? Final evolved form. Okay! <laughs> well, this is the danger I was asking for. We have no Shisho, but we have Bart and Victor. Can she really not use any magic without Shisho? I guess she can. Because it was through Skillshare. What could they We just gotta run around then until they find us. Is Fran? Can Fran really not do anything at the moment? Fran's gonna be fine. Honestly, I'm more worried about Victor and Bart. Because, like, I feel like. I. I feel like Victor and Bart might actually sacrifice himself for Fran's like safety, and I'm gonna feel kind of like devastated from that. I I don't know why I got emotionally attached to these fanboys in the beginning. I said in the previous episode they're like kind of like Gabiru's uh from like uh reincarnated as a slime. If you've seen that, Gabiru has his own set of like fanboys, and he's like Takoi Gabiru sama. I, I love them. Victor and Bart and the you know these guys seem to be the same too, and they're pretty nice people. We kind of saw you know the combing of the hair, but. Uh, Oh, dude, if they actually die, I'm gonna get devastated. Fran's gonna be fine. She's the main character. She'll figure something out, and she's showing Amanda, and everyone's gonna come save her. But hey, this is a lot more interesting than just clearing that trash mob, so let's see what happens next time. But hey, if you stick around this time, and if you if you didn't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos in place on the channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.